we we need to talk about stage fright because uh, at at this point, as of this morning when I looked, there is no indication that anyone has patched it. And in fact, some particularly clueless providers have said, well, there, you know, it's not being exploited, so, uh, you know, we're still looking at it. Well, the fact is, it is in the wild. It is the, the, the exploits uh, for stage fright have appeared in some, uh, some vulnerability, I mean, some exploit kits. Um, and uh, so, so we need to talk a little bit about mitigations. What can we do in order to, uh, until we get this thing fixed, what's the solution? And that's one thing we didn't discuss last week. Um, the, and the good news is it's not super difficult. Um, the, so just to, re, to, to recap a bit, the problem is with the, some, some sort of pre-parsing that occurs whenever an Android phone, and that's from Android 2.2 on, receives an, a, a multimedia message, an MMS text message uh, or, or media message. Um, the, there, there's some, the, so there are like six different problems that are, that were discovered by someone looking at the code who is giving a demo right now as we speak at the Black Hat conference about how to do this. Um, they have stated they will release, release proof of concept code um, after uh, after the conference, so uh, that's really what I'm excited for because I think that's really what we need in order to get this thing in order for people to understand what's happening. Um, so, uh, so it, it, so the idea is that your phone receives a deliberately, specially, maliciously crafted MMS message, and that allows the sender to execute their own payload uh, with strong privileges. I think it's system level privileges, which is one step shy of root level. Basically, it can do everything it wants to on the Android device. So um, uh, so I'm definitely on the lookout for the proof of concept code. Uh, I, I, I almost plowed into these uh the exploit kits to dig around, but I'm sure we're going to get this next week. And this is a big enough problem that that there's no reason for me to to do this redundantly. I I imagine the industry will be responding, but I, somehow I hope they do. I mean, this yes, yeah, okay. So the, the essentially the problem is that the default settings, both for Hangout and for Messages on Android, are auto retrieve. And so without you doing anything, your phone is retrieving and parsing MMS messages. Essentially what you need to to consider is that MMS messages from from someone you don't know and trust should be viewed with some caution. Um, so but but you can't have your phone open them and process them automatically. So essentially, you simply need to, first of all, I mean, number one rule is make sure you, you, you're running the latest firmware, that your, phone is, that your phone is current and up to date. Because if this gets fixed, you're going to need uh, you know, an, an over-the-air update in order to, to have this patched, assuming that your provider starts doing that. And again, uh, this to me seems like a, a huge opportunity for hackers. They noticed that 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 pr pre pr prior to the disclosure, the exploit kits already had this, meaning that all that was necessary was for for there to be any indication that that, that there was even a problem here, and immediately this got this got exploited. And as we said, it's just shy of half, or just shy of a, of one billion total phones. On the order of nine hundred and fifty million phones are believed to be vulnerable. So, you know, this is a big carrot dangling in in front of the bad guys. Anyway, so bottom line: make sure you're keeping yourself updated. Then you want to disable the auto fetching, both for Hangout and for Messages, and. I'm sure that our listeners know how to do that. For Hangout, you go into Options, Setting, SMS, Advanced, 
and then you will see auto retrieve MMS, just turn that off. And then under messages, it's under more and then settings. And then I like this, more settings. Um, and then you'll see multimedia messages and that there it says disable auto retrieve. And so just turn those off. Now, what that, what that means is that your phone will no longer, obviously, automatically be putting these down and, and parsing them. But that's the only mitigation we have for the moment. And, you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this. We'll let everyone know if there's suddenly been this, you know, like a, a raft of exploitation, which, which ramps this up. At this point, there, there have been vulnerabilities found in the wild. So, so we, at, we, we absolutely know that, that it is being exploited probably at this point in limited targeted attacks. We would sort of expect that, I mean, the one thing you need is somebody's phone number in order to send them one of these. Um, so uh, on the other hand, uh, the, the phones tend to be allocated in blocks of, of phone numbers. And so in the same way that, that uh, uh, the Jeep was uh, all, all, all of these various Chryslers could be scanned because they knew what IP range they were in. So could, um, a, you know, like, like MMS messages be spewed to uh, a bunch of phone numbers that are that are known to be uh, uh, offered by a vulnerable carrier. So anyway, to me, this is, this is uh, you know, still very much at the front of our radar. And uh, for, for listeners who want to take the appropriate measure, just telling your phone, don't pick up my MMS messages mm. uh, by, by default is the way to do that. Uh, CyanogenMod has fixed that in the most recent versions of CyanogenMod. Has Google fixed Good. it? Do you know in uh, yes, they meet, yes, 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 they instantly patch theirs. Um, so and if you're course, using a, an up-to-date uh, Google phone, a Nexus uh, phone, you're all right. Right. And it's probably mostly, I mean, as, as we know, the problem is that carriers tend to abandon their older phones. Yeah. Yet these older phones are, are going to be vulnerable. So I, I think, um, I mean, I don't want anything bad to come of this, but we, we really do need something to get carriers to, to belly up to the bar and and take some more responsibility. I know that there's some legislation that Congress has been talking about uh, as a consequence of these problems to to motivate carriers to 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 do more. You know, to take to take you know responsibility for the older property which they have sold. I mean, these these are. These are connected computers, and we know that uh, you know that we're finding that they have the same kind of security problems that all of our connected computers have always had. Unfortunately, you know, despite everyone's best efforts, we we keep having code that's a little bit more porous than we wish it were. I do wish there were some place you could go to see if your phone is uh, has been updated. That's that's what we need. That's yeah. someone will do it. And uh, as I said last week. Make sure that I find out about it through through Twitter uh, as soon as the service exists. If if I weren't in the middle of Squirrel or or, or Spinrite, I would just drop everything and do it because. I, although I was thinking about it too, you it's a little tricky because you don't want to create a service that will be so certainly nothing that anyone would do would be malicious. They would so they'd be delivering a benign demo payload, but. You don't want to allow that service to be abused just to like harass people. So I guess you'd you'd need to do something like your phone, you'd you'd need to send a text message from your phone to this particular service so that it got your phone number and then it would echo back or maybe like, you know, prompt you to, you know, hit yes if you want to receive a test message and then it would send it to you. That's, you know, it, it would be doing it right would be a little more involved, but that's what we need. We need mostly to to like spread the word and to get people to put pressure on their carriers. We need a demo of it. We need some way for for this thing to to you know, the the equivalent of how you know in on, on Windows when you have a flash exploit, you know, they make the calculator app pop up on your desk, which they, which Flash should absolutely never be able to do. It's like, whoa, there's the calculator. Now that could have been, you know, anything we wanted it to be. Yeah. But, it, you know, so it drives, it drives the, the point home. Oh, um, Lord. 
weird. Yeah. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 I'm, I'm excited when we get a proof of concept. Maybe these guys will, will do this themselves. You know, their, their corporate mobile phone security, uh, they generated a huge amount of attention for themselves. I've been keeping an eye on their own, on their website. And I mean, this has been good for them. And I think they deserve it because they, you know, they brought a potentially bad problem to light. Uh, it'd be great if they if they were able to bring up a demo uh, to to you know that that anyone could use to verify that whoa look at that uh, that shouldn't have happened I need to get this fixed 